Hi folks, I have a Sony HVR-Z1E that the customer wants me to have a look at the uh, deck mechanism uh, for uh, condensation or dirt wear tear on the mechanism. Unfortunately the customer hasn't supplied me with a battery and these uh, units will not work without either the adapter or the battery connectors but uh, there is also no AC adapter uh, plug for putting your power supply into anywhere you need an adapter the customer hasn't supplied it but Sony for service reasons have uh, provided a hidden uh, DC port power up and it's it's here I just remove the cover just one screw yeah and the power supply I will be using is a Sony power supply and it's a uh, type AC dash L100 C I plug it in and it powers up as you can see but it comes up with this error you can do nothing with it uh, I can switch it over now to camera and it's just nothing okay, now it's on the camera put it back on the VCR and it just shuts down What Sony have as a service to is this blank uh, service tool and it goes into connector right there and what I do is when it's unpowered you put the uh, tool to the service position put the switch for the uh, camera to the camera position and plug in the power supply and then it comes up and you wait for that warning to go up and turn it immediately over the VCR Now we have the camera working to be able to do some checks on. It would have been easier if the customer just supplied me with the battery or the, or the proper adapter. But I have these tools already. It has an error code up there. It's where someone put in the incorrect battery. As you see, doesn't seem to be any problem with it, uh, it's playing away. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to start stripping down the deck and uh, have a look at the deck assembly. First thing I have to do is take the handle off the camera assembly. And I normally start here at the back. We've got two screws here. cover comes out and then you have access to the back there's a, a cable here and just clips up you also have two screws on the handle I can take these out here now at the moment there's still two at the front to hold the cable or the, there's still two screws at the front of the handle to hold the handle onto the camera assembly Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take off this front cover and there's a screw here at the side.
and it's longer screw than the, the rest of the screws. Then I have to clip that out. Now we're left with a cable here in the middle, or at the, f at the front of the camera. You can just about see it in there. And we just, it just pries off. Now we've got these two screws here at the front. The camera assembly should now uh, come off, but I always take it off easy, just in case there's some cables that uh, you don't know about that could be connected. Don't want to tear them cables, they're fairly expensive. Generally available from Sony. Now you have access to the top of the camera. And you've got one screw here, another screw here, and then you have screw in here, screw the back and of course then you have one, uh, two, three screws at the bottom and then your camera assembly should come off. I'm just going to start taking them off now. Start by taking these two screws off at the top. inside the cassette housing. Top right hand corner of the cassette housing. Now we get the ones at the bottom. I know this doesn't have to come out, but I'm just going to take it out anyway. We should be ready now to part the two uh, pieces of the camera. Just going to pull it and be careful, there is a cable inside. You don't want to pull too hard. You've got a cable here that goes onto this board. Let's see, can I get a shot of the connector? You can see there's the connector there. And it just pulls out of this connector. Now we're at the deck assembly. We can start uh, checking it out. I had a good visual of it and I can see very little dirt or any uh, sign of corrosion that the customer might be talking about. Uh, you can see, there's nothing here, I'm just giving a little dust out that's all with a cotton bud. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to clean the tape pack now uh, with some isopropanol alcohol. 
have some uh, IP on my uh, cotton bud here. I'm just going to give the tape pass just a little bit of a clean. Seems pretty clean. I wouldn't use this cotton bud on the heads there. Uh, you might get a bit of a material caught up in the actual head on the drum assembly. That's looking good. You can see very little dirt on the uh, cotton bud. Dry off. Heads look clean as well. I got some isopropyl on this uh, head cleaning stick and I turned the drum in the direction that normally turns which is anti-clockwise Head cleaning stick is is meant for VCRs, a little bit bigger. I wish I could get a, a smaller version of this stick, yeah, cleaning stick out there. Okay, I'll let that dry now, and then I'll start reassembling it. We'll start reassembling the unit now. The first thing we have to do is put this cable back into its connector and it just it's a I'm not gonna be able to show it but it just slips slides back in and as you can see it's into its spot. But the first screw I'm going to put in is this one here, beside the scene controls. Then there's another one in here, which will be covered by the handle. Now we go underneath. I didn't really need to take this out. Got one here then at the back. Now we've got to put the handle assembly on the camera. And these are the larger black screws. T 
two here at the back at an angle, 45 degree angle roughly. front one there and there's another one the far side off the back end of it there's a cable here that's got to go into it so the connector just so shuts down make sure it's home fully what we have to do now is put this cover on the back of the camera and there's a little clip at the end there it slots underneath Then you have two screws. Next thing we have to do is put the front cover and uh, connect its cable up as well. This is not going to be an easy shot so showing how this cable goes into its connector, but you have a connector in there. Let's see, can I get in closer? You get a connector in there, and that cable's got to go into it. But uh, your vision is going to be obscured by my hands. Just going to get a bit closer. cover now in the place and now what we have is a screw a long screw to it's a longer screw than the rest of them as you can see, goes into the side to hold that uh, front cover in. Okay, now we have to uh, check the unit to see is it working. Uh, what I do is I uh, connect up my uh, line connector for my Link remote. Have the switch to the service position. Make sure my mode switch is to camera and then plug in the power and wait for the error message and then shift it immediately to VCR. Doesn't give you much time, so you have to be very quick. Press the menu button to get rid of that. What's this? Now press play. And it's up working. There's